Hello boys and girls and welcome to another installment of Sandman's Tattle Time. Today I'm going to talk about these fellas, Beat Waters. I uh, saw this design about six months ago, something like that, on the internet and uh, looked out and I thought, very handy that. Can I make one? So, you know, I made got my pliers out, had a bit mess around, 20 minutes later, there it was. Saved myself a few quid in the process. So, if you want to know how to make one of these, watch this video. First of all, what do you need? Now, just like the last one that you saw, if you watched the last Salmon's uh, Tackle Time, pair of decent pair of round nose plies, half decent pair of long nose plies, and a pair of universal plies. You'll also need some silicon turban. Majority of your tackle shops sell this, this stuff. An 8 mil bead. In this case, you might have to do this. Um, I had to drill a 3 mil hole in the centre of this bead to allow for the thicker wire that I'm about to show you. And the next thing is I'm going to show you is this stuff here. It's called 3 mil 316 grade marine stainless steel welding rods. They're a lot more thicker than the 1.6 mil that you've seen is used in the past on rotten bottom rigs, Gemini clips, etc, etc. Um, but the reason for this, it's, it's a lot more rigid and uh, I think it'll, it'll do the job a lot better. However, I have made one, there it is there, out of the 1.6 mil uh, 316 stainless steel welding rods. Um, and I find this absolutely fine, no problem at all. I, I fish the, the river a lot. Those who know me, you might have heard of the Blenny Hill Open. I, I run that. Um, so I do quite a bit of river fishing and uh, that worked a treat for me, loading beards up with that. Um, if you've never seen these before, you've never seen them in action, I'll show you how to uh, go on with that at the end of this video. Anyway, just before I show you how to um, make one of these bait ones, I'd like to take a couple of minutes there just to talk about this 316 grade stainless steel. Now, I didn't really tell you much about it last time, the last video, um, but here it is. If you ever want to buy it yourself, uh, it's made by a company called Nexus, as you can see. It comes in one metre uh, tubes, uh, and the standard one that you need is 1.6 millimetres. Um, that's not for the beer orders, obviously, as you know, I've just said it's 3 mil, but the likes of your, your, your rotten bottom rigs, Gemini clips, you know, uh, fast links, they're all made from 1.6 mil uh, stainless steel. So there it is, a company in Pallion called Lane Gate. It's a little bit pricey, £45 to £55 per 5 kilo tube. But honest, it's like everything, you get what you pay for. It's top quality stuff. And stainless steel, it's not going to rust on your own out like that. Anyway, let's get underway with this bait water. So, I've cut myself a piece of 316 grade stainless steel, 3 mil as you know. And it's roughly 16, 16 inches long. Now I know people that have them this long, a little bit longer. There's a shorter one I've done for a friend of mine. It's, it's up to you, you know. If you want big baitings, I, I suggest make them longer. Um, I, I tend to do around 16, mil, uh, 16 inch because it can cover a multitude of uses if, uh, if need be. Anyway, so what you do is get your own those pliers. There's your piece of uh, stainless steel and you just want to nip it in the top like that as you can see. And all you want to do is make a nice loop. That's what you end up with. There you go. We're just going to get the plies, the universal plies, just straighten that up a little bit. It is quite difficult stuff to work with. It's quite thick as you can see, so it's very strong. Anyway, so you've made your loop. Get your pliers again, pull it through the same hole, but this time you want to just knock it down a tiny, tiny little bit. I'm just going to open that up a bit, people, because I think I've just pushed that a little bit too far. I have. Right, that's better. Right, so you pull it back in through the same hole, but I'll turn it side on just so you can see it. But you don't want it, if you can see where it's down there, you want it up a little bit, about there. The reason for that is because you're going to kink it back a bit. I'll try and turn it so you can see kink it back a little bit and you end up with that. I use my pliers just to nip that back up again because uh, I got it wrong a little bit there. Right, so you end up with that. Then, whilst holding it like that, turn it so that it's facing you the way you can see it. Get your pliers back on, a couple of inches down, whatever you want, and then just simply kink it back over. 
Again, this is hard stuff to work with, like so. Persevere. And you'll end up with that. And as you can see, you're 75% of the way already. You then get yourself a piece of silicon gelman. There it is there. And all you're going to do is, I normally put a little bit of spit or something in there, and it'll just push over the shaft a little bit better. Like that, as you can see. So, I'll just show you that. So a little bit of spit in there. And as you're about to see, it'll slide over a lot better. So you slide that right the way up the shaft and around the, the top. And then that'll get you to there. So there you go. After you've put that on, when you're at that stage, you then get your 8mm bead. There it is there. You get these in various colours. Any colour will do, doesn't really matter. And if you remember what I was just saying, you might have to drill a 3mm hole. Well, there's no mate about it, you will have to drill a 3mm hole in there. Not unless you can get